Right, well, I think that's everything, bar a few invoices. Callum seems very nice. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's, um, he's really good with the clients and he puts them at ease, you know, he's brilliant. Shame about him and Whitney. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, I'll pop and see Honey. I've got a few bits and pieces to give to the children, but I'll say goodbye before I go. And make sure you do. <laughs> Bring up your dead! We're in here. Uh, but Pam, I, I didn't realise you were still here. Oh, you little devil. <laughs> Did she find out about Terry? No, eh? no. But she could do, and if she does, I'm gonna get her right here for. I'll tell you what, mate, I'm thinking of taking a step back from this place. Focusing on a car lot for a bit. I mean, that's a great idea. Exactly, that's, that's perfect timing. Uh, Callum's struggling a bit with the ready, so why don't you put him as manager? Well, I suppose he could be ready. Ready? Have you seen him in that black suit? The way it hugs everything in all the right areas. I mean, stiffs are drawn to him. Doctor? You all right? How'd it go? Yeah. Cried. Felt really bad for him. He's bed bound. Can't go to his wife's funeral. Made him a cup of tea. Listened for a bit. Oh. I thought you'd come in. But if this is about the pan thing... I... Well, there was something, but it, it wasn't that. What? Yeah, so, um... Well, I've decided to focus more on the car lot, so, uh... Well, I'd like to offer you the manager's job at this place. And...? And that means more money, obviously. Is this because of what I said to you about struggling to pay the rent? Well, no, no, no. He needs a break, you need the dosh, so I... What, so you just decided you just charge in and rescue me? What is the matter with you? Could be pretending I don't exist one minute and then controlling my life the next. <laughs> you know you're gonna forgive me sooner or later, so why don't you just stop being a diva and bring me back, yeah? Please. Jay said you were with Honey. I was. But I wanted to catch you alone. Why didn't you tell me about you and Callum? And don't you dare insult me by saying it was to save my feelings. I just thought it was easier not to say anything. Easier for you? Not for Callum. I just thought he didn't have much to say for himself, but clearly he was very hurt. I'm very disappointed in you. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't want you to think that I'd forgotten Paul. Oh, for goodness sake, Ben, of course I know you haven't. I would much rather know you were in a loving relationship than being alone or going off taking risks. I want you to be happy more than anything else in the world. And so would Paul. Do you care about him? Do you? Well, I think it's about time you started to show it. Don't you think? Oh. <laughs>